Rabbit Air Bio GS 2.0. This unit is about 21 and a half inches tall. It's about 15 inches wide. It's about eight and a half inches deep. Uh, the unit weighs in at just over 16 pounds. This unit is equipped with a HEPA filter, a carbon filter, and also a mesh pre-filter. The air enters the unit through the sides and the bottom here. Uh, there is no grill on the front of the unit for air to enter. It can only enter through the sides and the bottom. It then goes through a series of filters. The pre-filter is first, then the carbon filter, and then the HEPA filter. After the air is through the last filter, it exits through the back here, uh, up and away from the air purifier. This unit features five fan speeds, and on its fifth setting, its highest setting, the CFM is somewhere around 190. The unit is quite expensive. It retails for around $400. So what do we like about this unit? We definitely like the filters that it comes with. It comes with a HEPA filter. It comes with a proper pre-filter with a mesh grill. It also comes with a carbon filter with pellets as part of the carbon filter. Uh, carbon filters on air purifiers come in two varieties. One is a fiber-based material where the fiber is coated with activated carbon. The other is a uh, filter that contains carbon pellets. And these pellets have much greater surface area than the coated fibers. And it is definitely a superior method for gas filtration. So the fact that this unit comes equipped with that type of carbon filter is definitely a strong positive. This unit also features great build quality and it does come with a five-year warranty. Finally, another positive is the fact that this unit features very modern design. Uh, it has a very modern aesthetic. And for most users, this air purifier is going to be on the prettier side, if you will, compared to most other air purifiers in the market. This unit does come with this front piece that comes off and um, it's behind this front piece where you'll find the filters. Uh, most other air purifiers in the market have a front grill. And that front grill normally doesn't look nearly as good as this solid material here on the front of this air purifier. Furthermore, the outlet on the back here is also uh, carved out in a wedge shape, which is also a different design than the regular outlet design where it's simply a flat surface with a grill where air is exiting straight up. Here you have a a curved wedge surface, which again goes along with that modern aesthetic. What do we not like about this unit? Well, uh, the first problem is the CFM. Yes, it is sufficient for smaller rooms, but it is not sufficient for larger rooms. And for a unit that retails for around $400, this is a sizable problem for us. For units at this price point, we would want them to, at the very least, be capable of purifying the air in a larger room. And that gets right to the major point with this unit, which is, once again, its price point. It's not a great value. You are paying for that modern aesthetic and you are paying for certain smaller features that are not necessarily commensurate with the price. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind as a strong negative for this unit is the fact that it simply is not a great value. Compared to other units of the same brand, uh, Rabbit Air really only makes two models of air purifiers, the Minus A2 and this Bio GS 2.0. The Minus A2 is more of a non-traditional air purifier. Its control panel is on the front. It's a wall mountable air purifier. It's designed as such that it can be mounted on the wall. This unit here is more of a traditional unit. Uh, both units are very expensive. They are priced at a price point where we generally will not recommend them. The Minus A2 comes with extra filters, uh, extra filters installed in the unit, not extra filters sold separately. It also is at a sufficient CFM for larger rooms. Neither of those things are true for this unit. Again, while that carbon filter is above average, uh, this unit it still doesn't have the same level of features, the same level of functionality that you'll find with the Minus A2. And both units are expensive. So while the Minus A2, maybe you could justify its higher cost because of its smart functionality or because of its higher CFM or because of its extra features, you cannot do the same for this particular unit. We do want to note here that this particular unit is the SBA 625A. Uh, there is also a 550A, which is even lower CFM. Uh, we have yet to test that unit. Uh, however, both units are essentially identical in everything other than CFM. So they look the same. They are the same size, uh, approximately the same weight, the same filters, everything else. 
but we do want to note that the model that we have, the sub model that we have on the table here today is the 625A and the 550A is also available for a slightly lower price. The main takeaway here is that this unit at its CFM is simply not an option for larger rooms. And while other units, uh, other top rated units in the 250 CFM range are able to purify air in those larger rooms, we have tested this unit in larger rooms and it is not on the same level, even on its highest fan speed that CFM is simply not sufficient. You really need 250 CFM minimum for larger rooms, and this unit does not have that. So where does that leave you? That leaves you with a very expensive, very nice looking air purifier uh, that does have some features, but not the greatest features. It certainly doesn't have smart functionality, something that you would expect for a unit at this price point. So what you have is a expensive unit that cannot really be used in rooms larger than let's say 200 to 250 square feet. For larger rooms, rooms larger than 300 square feet, you really need a 250 CFM unit at a minimum. So that leaves this unit in a very strange place where the only users that can actually use it are users in smaller rooms. So if you have a smaller bedroom, this is certainly a viable option. But again, it's super expensive and we simply do not believe that the price is justified uh, for the features that you receive. If you're in love with the design, uh, go ahead, you know, you can certainly purchase this unit and you're going to get a high quality unit. You're going to get something that comes with a HEPA filter, that comes with a carbon filter with uh, good and proper gas filtration. But for most users that are not that concerned about aesthetic, this unit is simply not as good as units that are even less than half the price.